Judge Baxter Wilson Grail was the most powerful political figure in Los Angeles. He had been for over a quarter of a century. His butler kept telling me that the judge was unavailable until I said I was the last person to see Lindsay Marriott alive. The house itself wasn't much. It was smaller than Buckingham Palace and probably had fewer windows than the Chrysler building. color of gold and old paintings. She had a full set of curves which nobody had been able to improve on. She was giving me the kind of look I could feel in my hip pocket. This is my husband, Judge Grail, Mr. Marlowe. Please sit down, Mr. Marlowe. Thank you. Would you mix Mr. Marlowe a drink, Nelson? Yes, ma'am. You're not what I expected. Oh, in what way? Well, the last person to see poor Lindsay alive, I, I thought it would be one of his friends, if you know what I mean. Well, he just asked me to tag along on an errand. He had to uh, ransom a fight sweet jade necklace that was stolen from a friend of his. Thank you. It'll be all, Nelson. Thank you. I'm a private detective. I understand you... Uh, Collect fights we Jay, Mr. Grail? I have one of the finest collections in the world, but nothing's been stolen from me. He told me it was stolen from a woman. I wonder what he had in mind. We only have one necklace. Oh, priceless. Mm-hmm. You don't have to bother with this, honey. You should get some rest. I think I will. I'll go lie down a while. I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Marlowe. Thank you, sir. Mr. Grail hasn't been feeding too well for some time. He tires easily. Hell of a light drinking. Was he an old friend, Mr. Marius? Sort of. He accompanied me places. Well, I guess he had to tell me something to get me to go along. A very good looking man to be in this kind of business. Well, I hope you don't hold that against me. <laughs> Poor Lynn. He was rather a heel, but to die like that is terrible. Did you trust him? Yes. Why? I don't know. I trust some people. I trust you. Why don't you come over here and sit beside me? You know, I've been thinking about that for some time. Ever since you first crossed your legs, to be exact. These damn things are always up around your neck. Do this sort of thing often? No, no, I'm usually pretty busy. At the monastery, praying with the other monks. How long did you know Mary? Oh, years. I liked him. I'd like to know who killed him. When did you find out? I'll pay you, of course. A lot. A lot? Mm -hmm. Mary had lived like he had a lot. He wasn't borrowing from you, was he? You're a little old-fashioned, aren't you? Your name's Phil, isn't it? Philip. What's yours? Helen, kiss me. That was me. 
Mr. Gray. Don't no, forget him. I'm trying to. I'm telling you, it's all right. He understands what the hell can he expect. I know. He tires easily. I'm telling you, it's all right. He's a sick man. Well, you never know it from the kind of muscle he carries in this town. I know. The kind of muscle he can use from a wheelchair. I know. Where can I call you? I'm in the telephone book. Well, what's wrong? There's nothing wrong. Jeez, oh, you are old-fashioned, aren't you? From the waist up. Mm -hmm. 